Hi, my name is Chris Callahan. I'm a uh, transplant surgeon at Guy's Hospital. Uh, I'm involved with kidney transplantation, also pancreas transplantation. Uh, a transplant is when an organ is removed from one person and put into another person's body. Uh, a transplant can either come from someone who's passed away, a deceased donor, or from a living donor. Um, transplants can be a heart, a lung, a kidney, or a pancreas, or other organs. And for some patients with diabetes and kidney failure, uh, a kidney and pancreas transplant might be suitable. For most patients with kidney failure, a kidney transplant is the best option. Uh, if you have kidney failure, then we would hope that a kidney transplant would not only prolong your life, but give you a better quality of life and give you the best chance of having the type of lifestyle that you had before you developed kidney disease. Although kidney transplantation is the best option for most patients with kidney disease, it's not always the right option for all people. There are risks and benefits uh, that come along with kidney transplantation and it's important that your treatment options are raised with you as soon as possible uh, once you have the diagnosis of kidney disease. The kidney team will discuss the risks and benefits of transplantation with you as soon as possible so that you can make a decision about what's best not just for you but also for your family. Hello, my name is Cheryl. Um, I donated my kidney to the Kidney Sharing Scheme and this is my husband George. And my name is George, I'm Cheryl's husband. I'm a recipient of a kidney from the Kidney Sharing Scheme, which means I am a kidney transplant patient. I was diagnosed with uh, kidney, chronic kidney failure three years ago. Um, as a result of that, I went on to dialysis. So when we found out that um, George needed a transplant, the doctor told us about the different options that we could take. So one was um, to be, for him to be on the deceased list. Um, the other option was to um, for family to donate. Um, so I agreed, I said that um, I would do that. So we, I, they, I had to be worked up for that. So they gave me lots of tests, um, but we found out that my, our blood groups wasn't compatible. Um, so the other option that they told us we could do was what's called the shared scheme. Um, so basically what that meant was is they would have a pool of, of people um, and then every few months they would look at those pool of people and see whose blood group matched, couples matched. I wasn't concerned, I wasn't worried, I knew it was something that I wanted to do. So for me personally there wasn't any concerns. It's a big operation, I didn't realise how big it is, so it, it does, you know, it, it does take a lot out, out of you, but um, the whole process for us was, was, was a positive experience. If anyone was considering doing the um, kidney sharing scheme is to go ahead and do it. Um, for me it was, well for us, it was the quickest, it was um, the best way. We were very, very informed at all times, lots of um, communication, so um, I would say yes, go ahead and do it. Hi, I'm Christian. I'm 25 years old and five and a half months ago I had a kidney transplant from a deceased donor. I waited for six years for a kidney and it was quite nervous at some times. You'd always have to figure out who was calling the phone. It was actually on New Year's Day that I got the phone call so I didn't really expect it at all. I thought it was just a relative or someone calling to say Happy New Year and it was quite early in the morning so it woke me up and when I realised um, the importance of the call I grabbed everything I could and quickly ran to the hospital. The team at Guy's Hospital where I had my transplant on Richard Brightwood were really helpful. Uh, what seemed to me a really panicky situation having to quickly run in and not knowing whether or not I'd have my transplant they seemed able to calm me down and um, very good standard of care, I think, at Guy's Hospital. Previously, when I was on dialysis, work was really hard to either get into or keep focused. And just uh, six months after transplant, I'm already going in for interviews for the career choice that I really wanted to do. At the moment, I feel really great. 
it's hard to believe that only six, seven months ago, I needed to be hooked up to a machine just in order to have a decent standard of life. Um, to other people waiting for a kidney, I would say, I really hope you get one soon. I mean, it makes all the difference in your life. And to those who are debating whether to go on the list or not, I mean, there's obviously only one choice, really, that it should be to have a kidney transplant. Hello, my name's Gillian, I'm 45 years old and I had a kidney pancreas transplant four years ago at Guy's and St Thomas's. I'd been diabetic since the age of 18, um, which had affected my kidneys over the years um, and gradually they just became less and less functional um, and I'm finding them very tired all of the time so that was really difficult. The people at Guy's and St Thomas's suggested to me that I could just have a kidney transplant but also have a kidney and pancreas transplant and gave me lots of help and support in terms of making the decision. Um, it was a really nice feeling for me to have a choice in terms of my future and the different routes that I could take and it was fully up to me to decide whether I just wanted to have a kidney transplant or the kidney and pancreas transplant. They gave me loads of leaflets, videos, I went along to a transplant education day. For me I came to the decision quite quickly and easily um, for me, the advantage is being not having to be a diabetic anymore after 23 years. It was not just going to be amazing for me, but also my family and my friends. Um, also, that having a new pancreas would mean that my new kidney wouldn't be affected anymore by the diabetes. For me, post-transplant, it was so exciting to see the improvements in my health. It sounds silly, but the first time I walked up a hill, after the transplant, I was literally in tears of joy when I got to the top, just to start feeling normal again. The staff at Guy's have just been fantastic. I've always been thoroughly supported, really well looked after, and always felt like the decisions that I took were supported by them. For patients with kidney failure, uh, and who would like to have a kidney transplant and are suitable for it, a kidney transplant may come from a living donor or a deceased donor. And for most patients who decide to have a transplant, we would suggest that a living donor would be the best option as these kidney transplants most often work straight away and work for longest in the long run. For patients who are unable to find a living donor, a deceased donor kidney is usually their next best option. If you have diabetes and kidney failure, uh, and if you meet other specific criteria, then a kidney and pancreas transplant may be the best option for you.